So, Mario from Roach Fab, this is day six on the mongrel. So I had an idea for this, which is going to mean that I can get the body a little bit lower. When I was saying I was going to do this as a flat bottom seal, I think I'm actually going to put the uh, pinch weld back in. So I'll, I'll actually have a, put a fold in this piece, and then I can bring this down, and then bring the whole seal line of the 100E down to meet it. So that's just going to mean I can drop the body even further down on this floor pan. So first thing, I'm going to clean this up, put a support across here so that this gap can't change when I cut this out. So I'll weld a brace in at the back of here, clean everything up, cut all this out, make this section, and then we'll see where we're at. Right, I've got this all marked up. It's a little bit awkward because the front section of the um, the front flat section of the sill is wider than the back, so I've got to make sure I've got this the right way around. That's right. So this, basically that distance there, 45 mil there, 40 at the back, so you just had to make this 40 there, 45 there. Got a 40 mil raised lip here, so the, the top of the MX-5 sill sit with the top of that, and then this bottom edge where it's offset on the size here, obviously needs trimming but this is uh now that's folded up that's a really strong piece does her fit like a glove oh no, that's wrong that's more like it like a glove so i got this i need to uh drill these spot welds out, pull this little piece out here and then that will sit sit tight in behind this panel here same there and then I'll cut cut these around so this is all welded straight into this I'll actually cut this lip off of here 
because I need to replace that little piece there just because it's rotten and I'll do the same there so that I'm using more of the new steel than I am the old steel where I can um, well that fits absolutely perfect well while I've got all the measurements in my head I'll fold up the other side so that uh, I've got the other side ready to go got a load of new clamps well, a load of strong hand tools and um, I have to say they're not the best of things they clamp up well but uh, there's quite a lot of slop in the jaws might be able to just tighten these rivets up a bit it's a bit better after you give them a good beating but you shouldn't really have to do that Time will tell whether they're any good. So um, I just need to get this edge, this bottom edge exactly square now. So I've got this piece in, I'm going to make a uh, piece to sit in here, basically replace what was rusted here with a folded lip, um, the way it was done originally, so this, this was like a pinched seam, which was pinch welded from this, from the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing, basically put a piece in here, and then fold this new sill up with a flat on top, which will butt up underneath that um, and also butt up underneath this piece here but I'm going to fold the sill up first and then make this to come down and fit the sill because the sill is going to give us the, the complete line front to back and it'll be nice and straight um, and then this will just be I'll just tack the sill in, I'm not actually going to fully weld the sill until this body is um, on the MX-5 floor and everything's squared up exactly where we want it 
because um, this is probably going to need a bit of like pulling about and tweaking so I, I want to have it kind of as floppy as possible just to make it easier to get everything squared up and then once this is attached you know I'll, I'll join the bottom half of the sill once everything's exactly where I want it Right, so I've got this uh, seal folded up. It's got obviously like crease lines in it, which not really anything I could do about that, but I'm not too fussed about it. This bottom edge will be trimmed off to, so there's like a sort of 15 mil lip along the bottom, which will be pinch welded to the bottom of the uh, MX-5 floor pan. Yeah, let's have a look, see how she fits on there. Needs a little bit more of a kink on the bottom. That's pretty sweet actually. So yeah, that's come out alright. So what I want to do now, make this piece, test fit it all. I'll probably just get a few tacks on it, just test fit, check everything's how I want it. I can use this, this nice straight edge all the way along here to just make sure that this edge of this panel follows dead straight with this line of this sill. So there we go, that's this side uh, pretty much sorted, this will be welded all the way around here um, and then this will be just pinch welded from the other side and then yeah the arch will probably come like over and around to about here I would imagine. I think the when I was talking about the Zack speed arch kits there's two different types there's one which is like a big box which goes all the way along the side of the panel and there's another kit that's that's actually like four arches and like a front splitter so it's it's the kit with the four arches not the uh, not the box kit I'm talking about I'm not 100% sure that I'll uh, use those but that's what I'd like to try and put on it all right so that's it for today um, the most depressing thing about doing this sort of work is like you get like now I've finished all that and I've got to go and do exactly the same on the other side now and I always find that really irritating that's just part of working on cars I guess so yeah I'll probably I'm not going to film doing the other side because it's going to be exactly the same and it's going to be a lot quicker 
for me to get it done without filming it and I've got to try and fit it in between some other jobs I've got to get done and then hopefully on Wednesday I'll get on the MX-5 and just repair those bottom edges on both sides yeah then hopefully we can um, get these things properly welded together but uh, it's nice to see some new metal gone back in it anyway so that's it for this one, cheers for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday